Oftentimes, caviar is eaten by itself on a cracker, but how is it when it's combined with other ingredients? Today, we are trying Greek-style caviar spread, also called terra mo salata. That is Greek to me. Looking in the jar, you can see that uh, you have a bunch of like orange beets. Um, I'm assuming that some of the caviar really looks like the fish roe you see sometimes on sushi. Now, just looking at this, it almost looks like it's a dairy product, but the label actually says it's lactose free. Um, looking at some more ingredients under fish roe, it has carp, pollock, cod, haddock, and or ling roe, so several different kinds of fish. This whole thing sounds fishy to me. Also on the label, after listing all these ingredients, it says contains fish. I would have never guessed. All right, here we go. Oh. That is one of the worst smelling things I've ever... <coughs> it smells like cat food that's gone bad for like six months. I was not expecting that. I was thinking, oh, this would be something mild. Look at this. Since it's Greek, I got a little pita cracker. <sighs> See, I've got a healthy amount. I'm not chickening out. Three, two. Oh, no, no, no. It's like someone took the sludge out of their dispo uh, garbage disposal and mixed it with a bunch of fish parts. I will say it actually smells worse than it tastes. It tastes really salty, which overpowers a lot of the fishiness. But man, you ever been like in a port city and you go past like a fisherman's market at the end of the day and You've just basically got the leftover fish parts. Most of the fish has been sold. And it's got that real nasty smell. It tastes like that. <laughs> 